What is up, y'all? We are here. It is Best of 2023 Watch, where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. And today we are checking out LEGO 2K Drive and Humanity. Full disclosure, I did dip in a little bit to Humanity um, in preparation for the min-max stream, so that won't be a fresh set of eyes completely for me, but I've only done like five levels, so I think that'll be fine. Um, as for LEGO 2K Drive, I have not played it at all. I've been saving it for this stream. This is a game that I continuously will mention and people will be like, what is that? Oh, that's out? Oh, reviews are out? When did this, what is up with this game? We're gonna find out today. This will be our first one on the list. We'll play for one to two hours depending and then give humanity about an hour. Might shift that around a tiny bit depending on how long it takes to get into things, how, um, you know, how we're feeling about stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I won't do my full, uh, normally I go for about four hours with the option of maybe doing more. If we hit our dailies, uh, today I'm ending a little bit early. I have some plans with friends and I gotta make sure I can get over to that location to hang out with people. Uh, so for that reason, uh, it'll be a little bit of a shorter stream than normal. Uh, we do still have our holistic goal up that we can work towards, you know, as the day goes on, but it's why I don't have the dailies up for the, uh, usually it's a trophy hunt you guys can unlock. But today's a little bit different. I am playing on PlayStation 5 for this game. Uh, it's on PlayStation 5. It's on PS4. I think it's... I'm going to pull up all the other info about it because this is one that I just sort of heard about in passing. You know, and it had like, a, I think, some level of a press event. Like, I remember there being like an embargoed preview or announcement of the game or something. Um, but yeah, it's on everything, apparently. Switch, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and PC. What's up, Unique Technique? How's it going? Um, okay, I'll log in. I think I have a 2K account. I'll do it on my phone for many reasons. One, it's a little faster. Two, it like keeps the info together. Playdate? Yeah, it does actually have Playdate colors to it. Um, oh, you mean, is it on everything? Is it on Playdate? It's not on Playdate, though I'd love to crank the little thing to get a car to zoom around. I think that'd be fun. Let's pray that we have a freaking 2K account. I don't think I do. Okay, let's see. What happens when I don't then? Don't have an account? Sign up. Okay. Um, I am me. I was born in January. I actually kind of hate when video games have me like log into their little platform. It's very much like a 2K thing, a Ubisoft thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know anyone that really enjoys that process. I'm sure there's benefits if you're really hardcore, maybe into that developer or publisher or whatever, but I don't have a good time with it, if I'm being honest. Okay, giving them my email, typing in the email. This is, this is modern gaming. All right. Password, just generate a password, display name. I guess I'll go with, uh, oh, let's, and only use letter, okay, cool. I agree to terms of service. I do not want promotional emails, but I know they will still some, for some reason, send me promotional emails, and I don't know why. Now I gotta verify my email with the code, okay. They gave me the code, whole thing. We're gonna copy something over, we're gonna paste it over. Verify email. It is now connected. Great, there I am. Um, I hope they give you some free brick box. <laughs> yeah, free some. Oh, uh, did you know? You can pl complete the collection in wrenches and turbo acres to earn bonus brick bucks. I don't know what that means, so I, I didn't know, I guess. Um, wait, what if we use that QR code? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. I think it is linked to my PlayStation account, so I don't know. I don't know. Don't try to use it though either, because that seems just weird. But I, I'm not sure. I imagine it still just keeps you to the page, and if you're not already like logged in on my PlayStation, but I know I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, the online play aspect. Um, Eddie has a WB account login tattoo. <laughs> we want your data. Give us permissions. Um, it's like V-Bucks, but more mad. <laughs> okay, I have no idea. Like, let me know in the chat if y'all know what is up with this game. I have no clue. I, I heard Lego. I heard driving. 
and I was down, you know, I was I was here for the pitch. Um, I mean, seems fine to me. Controls, video, audio. I'm just seeing if they have like uh, subtitles or something. Subtitles on, size, large. Background, yes. Background color, black, that's fine. Yep. Um, I guess I saved these changes. I'm just gonna hit play and see what's up. There's a story mode. So we know that much. I feel like, too, the reviews on this game have been solid. Okay. I brought the volume a bunch because it, it was really quiet. Like, I have the value max now, so definitely let me know if it ends up being, like, way too loud. Okay. All right. All challengers must provide their own means of transportation to the Sky Stadium. But to get that Sky Trophy, you've got to beat a bunch of crazy drivers! Just like these crazy drivers! drivers. Hey, they're crazy Yeah, they're crazy! Whoa! <laughs> and of course, you also have to beat the Undertaker! Oh yeah, right? The subtitles are so small, and they're allegedly large. Maybe I messed it up. I'll take a look at the doubling and see what's up. Oh no, okay, thank god. That's Clash Racington. Ex big shot driver, now charismatic bidder who trains rookie racers, which is lucky for you and convenient for the story. We smell a tutorial. Nah nah nah, well sort of. But the fun Okay, let me know now. You got no choice, kid, so let's go. Okay. Shot, I'll take you to Racington Speedway. Stay it's like really weird. You're gonna love turning my coffee. We may not have invented racing, but we are obsessed with Okay, it. so what was weird? I was hoping for a shot at the Sky Cup Grand Prix. You gotta win a lot of races if you ever want to see that. Is I basically put the settings back to what they were before? Oh shoot. But when I was playing um Midish Cap, like I had like no sound. Before, I can tell. So it's like a whole thing. But as long as it sounds good, works for me. I'll have to write down some things and uh, maybe have like a more Watch your corners. go to settings things. But thank you for pointing that out because it, it sounds different to me than it does to y'all, like just kind of inherently because I can change like different Welcome sound to stuff. Turbo Acres, racing capital of the world. We've got it all here. A top-notch crew that knows everything about racing. Snacks from the world-famous Finish Line. And Hubcap Hill, where you can grab some serious airtime. We even got a garage where you can build your own set of wheels. All right. And my personal favorite, Clutch Tower, the heart of the operation. I know Clutch Racing did. <laughs> Don't forget about me. I'm Stud, your super terrific utility <laughs> Okay. Stud will guide you around and keep your systems in check. At your s s s service. Uh-oh, Stud might be a bit dusty. I'll clean him up after we get through this intro. Until then, let's see what you look like. Oh, yay! Cosmic organization! We got default dude, default Diana, Betty Boost. Oh, yeah, and then, so, I don't know if these are, like, special ones that only I get, because I think I have, let me think real quick. No, yeah, I don't have anything else. I think I have, like, the special edition or something by default. I'm not really sure, though, so I don't know if everyone would have, rec like, I a lot of times when they give you, like, a code, because I got this code, 
They give you like one that has like some of the extra bells and whistles. So uh, open some gotcha blocks to get new racers. Um, how do I do that? Is that is that how it is? Like I can only. JK, I don't know if that's the thing. Change your look. Just open the loadout in the. I wish you could customize how you look. Your first driving lesson. Come. You should see an orange marker. Okay, so out the gate, it's very cute looking. Like the art's very like adorable. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Ooh. Jeez. Learning to drift is way cooler than learning to parallel park. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Nice engine sound. That'd be nice to customize. It is Lego. Yeah, like change the heads out and stuff. I get maybe unlocking some of the customization parts. And maybe that maybe you can do that later and I it's just not uh, available right now. Okay, so while driving, you know, L and then L2 seems fine. You basically hit L2 to drift. It's pretty standard. Uh, yeah, what's up? We're looking forward to most of the PlayStation Showcase. I'm looking forward to what the new is. Sorry, I was also looking at the audio settings to make sure it's not too loud. I might, I think I'm gonna bring it down like a tiny bit, or maybe, you know what? Just cause the, uh, the dialogue's really quiet. I think let's do just, um, oh, it's already like kind of lowered. Uh, maybe let's just bring the sound effects down by like a hair. And also, I'm curious, is the, um, are the subtitles really set to large? Because they're so tiny that I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, the idea of having new, yeah, that is large. That's, in, that's, that, that's wild that that's large. Okay. Um, whatever the new is, that's what I'm most looking forward to. Is this the Black Keys? Oh man. Um, that reminds me, is there any, like, is there any licensed music in here at all? Do I have, like, a streamer mode? Probably not. Well, we're just gonna have to hope that everything is fine. Hit the gas, hit the brake, then turn. Nice drift. Let's get some of these drifts in. You're doing great. It's pretty like simple arcadey vibes, you know? Y'all ever move into an apartment that wasn't really ready for someone to live in? <laughs> uh, I feel like almost every apartment. But how unready is it, Joe? I'm concerned. Definitely, I haven't had an apartment too bad that I've moved into. Definitely some of them have the landlord special. Okay, cool. It's interesting that you have this like you're on the um, the road, right? But when you go off road, you automatically go into like a little ATV. That's pretty cute. See what kind of stuff you can knock over. You can knock over most stuff. Oh, I can't wait for humanity. Yeah, humanity is uh, pretty fun. I I've only played a couple levels. I'll probably replay the levels I played just to show y'all like how it works and stuff. Um, I've only played like five levels, so I'm like very early anyway. Um, All right, hot shot. It's that's I'm still backing up. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Living legend, and prove you're good enough to represent Team Racington. Uh, Nina, I, I, uh, Nina and I got to try it forever ago, and it was neat. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I remember y'all mentioning that. All right, Hotshot, it's time to see if you can beat me, a living legend, and prove you're good enough to represent Team I'll Racington. To drive my signature car, mm. a McLaren. I'll be driving something a little less top of the line. <laughs> Way less. I just drive into the start zone next to Clutch. All right. Sure. See how it goes. I've been dying without AC. The summer heat is awful. The AC wasn't working. That's fixed now. Okay, great. Clutch hey, Racington. Proud to bring you live coverage of today's race. I'm Vicki Wheeler. And I'm Parker Carr. 
with Lania's top racing commentator duo. Today, all eyes are on Clutch Racington's hot shot new driver. That's right, Vicky. Sources say Clutch believes this racer is going all the way to the Sky Cup Grand Prix. Stay tuned to ANN for more on this exciting story. And remember, if you're ready to race, then, then so are, are we. I. I don't know if I was supposed to like hold and you know get like a boost or I kind of botched that if that was available okay we have the question marks we haven't learned this actually yet uh so it is like Mario Kart you just got bricked I love the um I'm a big fan of different vehicles for um racing like having different stuff in different terrain press triangle to jump okay even though, again, Diddy Kong Racing in the modern era does not hit the way you might. I hope it does. That's a good jump, yeah. It's cute, it's simple. Um, it's not as good to me as like um, a lot of other racing games, frankly. You know, it's no uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed or even a Cruising Blast, which is going for a, diff a, diff a slightly different feel than this one is. This one's definitely arcadey, but it's not um, it's kind of, uh, something kind of odd about this is it's very slow feeling. I don't know how it looks to y'all watching, if you can kind of perceive that it's a bit slow. And it's not even like I need to go faster, like I want to be out of control. It just feels slow. And maybe that's just because I haven't learned how to like, I don't know, get faster or something, but... Um, I also don't really like that the jump doesn't provide any kind of flip or something. Um, maybe it's because of the kind of vehicle I'm in or something, but... Here comes the jump. You know, in Mario Kart, you can do this and do like a little trick or something. And to my knowledge, there's none of that here. You need to put the boost. Hooray! Like, it makes the... Because it feels so slow, it makes the... Uh, the excitement that would normally come from racing feel kind of minimized to me. And it's interesting because while it's very slow feeling, it also feels really like chaotic. Like I'm barely perceiving what's happening. It's just like a lot of things flying on screen and maybe that, maybe I'll feel less that way when I've been playing it more. Hey, trophy hunter. It's because you're not boosting or drift plus boost. Hello. Yeah, I did notice now that I like hadn't been using the boost. But like, well, I need a boost all the time to get that speed. We'll see how the next race goes. I keep thinking I should have gone with the other place that was slightly more expensive and didn't have a washer dryer. Oh, but Jodine, you gotta have the washer dryer. Um, Eddie, I don't know if you're on uh, not mobile, but if you can make a poll. make like a is the washer dryer like a deal breaker kind of thing to you because i haven't had a washer dryer i would i used to say since like 2019 the truth is when i first moved to san francisco my apartment did actually have a washer dryer and i just forgot about that fact because i didn't live there for that long i was only there for a couple of months before i moved in with isaiah but the yeah like i've now lived without like we've had we've always had like a what do they call it? It's not fucking in unit. It's like on site. Definitely ready to be part of Team Racington Champ, and the best part, you earned it. Thanks for the hydrate. Flag. But on site, washer dryer is kind of a scam, to be honest. Like, people always try to act like, oh no, but it's on site. Like, you can just totally, it's fine. Just like walk downstairs and take it, take take a ride, and then you can wash and dry. But you're sharing it with so many people. The shit usually is broken. There's usually not enough machines for the amount of people that there are. And you have to pay. So it's just like, you know, it is a little cheaper than like going, I think, to the laundromat is. But at this point, you know, we're about to start the process of looking for our next apartment. And the washer dryer is a must. And I have to keep reminding myself, though, that the washer dryer is a must because there are a lot of great places that don't have a washer dryer. And, I'll, and in my mind, I'm like, ooh, maybe maybe I could be OK. But it's like, no, I can't. I got to I got to I got to keep focus. I have to have the washer dryer. I cannot lose sight of the importance of the washer dryer. Like I gotta remember it. Grand Brick Arenas. There are three Grand Brick Arenas in Bricklandia, and if you win all those, guess what happens? What happens? 
Ooh, ooh, you get a solid go car? <laughs> no, no. You get to race in the sky now then. All okay, right. cool. Let's take a look at your world. I'm kind of lightly Light speaking through this. That's uh, Tix, thanks for the follow. Um, okay. As you travel throughout the world, activity is cool. Activities to, it can be difficult to find your way. Move your cursor over one of the highlighted world challenges. Then set a weight. Smashing it is. Let close the world map and follow the way. Cool. Oh, shoot. Wow, a lot happened in those two seconds. I've never had a dishwasher. The dishwasher I feel way less compelled by. Um, I've had it. A lot of times they don't work as well as you want them to. Um, I think I'd like to have a dishwasher again, though, and really try to, like, learn how to get the most out of the dishwasher. Because also you have to, like... I mean, loading is not that complicated, but people also say, like, oh, well, then you gotta, like, also clean the dishwasher and, like... There's a couple of things that maybe I could use to optimize my use of the dishwasher. The whistle means you've discovered a new activity. Check your map for icons marked with exclamation point. Okay, so hubcap hill climb. Okay, so this kind of feels like Lego Forza Horizon, which sounds like an amazing pitch. I think in practice, it's not quite as exciting as I hoped. Um, But I could see myself like being like, you know what? We'll see. I can hand wash it a little bit myself. I do have a dishwasher, but no bottom rack. I didn't win a TikTok to Xbox Fan Fest, uh, but Madeline sent me her plus one. Nice. Sweet, sweet. I think I might see you there. Um, I don't know if, like, the thing I'm going to is just going to be combined with Fan Fest or if it'll be, like, in a separate area from the Fan Fest part or if it's just all one thing. I don't know. Um,. But yeah, we got four on the gotta have it. I'm so excited to have my washer dryer at my next place. You don't know if you can mingle with the commoners. I understand exactly. Yeah, I don't know if they've um, roped us off. Is the thing. Um, I think the real drag is management is not on site. You know. Mmm. For your place, I've I have very rarely had management on site personally. I think, let me try to think back of my apartment history. The first apartment we got, like we had our house and we went to our own apartment. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Um, it was like a small thing, you know? Cause sometimes it's like, is your place run by like a big company? Or is it like a guy who has a place? You know what I mean? Salud and gazoon tight. Thank you. Um, the first place I had, I think the guy who like, I don't know if he owned it, but he at least like was like the he. If you had like shit you needed, you like went to him. He lived in the building, you know. It was like just him and us basically. Um, then let's see. That was one place. I'm trying to think where we went after that. After that, I think he was in the city, but not there. Thank you for the follow. After that. Same thing. City, but not there. Maybe the building that, like, the business part of it, I think, might have actually been next door. But we didn't We didn't really have a lot of, like, maintenance things we needed. And the things we did need... I will say that apartment that I'm thinking of. And I'm not, like, naming them because it'd be, like, I don't know. I'm not about to, like, list the addresses, right? But the, the last apartment I personally had in Chicago with my family, the few things we did need and kind of in general i feel like i never get anything i need like if i need something like the person's not gonna do it like i don't know i've never had like great experiences with that um the last one was like they had an issue with the roof so they were gonna have to like do roof work which is probably like a 20 30k job and they like didn't want to do it so we just ended up moving out after a certain point and we did pull the like we're not gonna pay until you fix this which did save us some money because they just never fucking fixed it and i'm like it, that whole thing was a mess. It was managed really poorly. And we're like, we got to get out of here before the city takes over this property and fucking kicks us out or some shit. So we had bounced shortly after some of that drama because it was just a bit much. Um, and also, I think actually, I think that was the main thing. Oh, my gosh. Oops. That's sort of uh, I forgot if this is this timed. Oh, yeah. It's like 16 seconds or something. OK, let's see. Oh. And then um. My San Francisco place. The location was great. Oh, God. I lived with way too many people. Oh, no. 
Fuck it. <laughs> Let me restart the event. Um, so that was the L for there. But it had a unit washer dryer. Great location. Affordable rent for what it was and where it was. But not like, you know, the best rent considering how many people I lived with. Um, then I was with Isaiah at his place. Which was like, it was all right. Like it had a lot of space, but I think it was missing other things that we would have wanted. Now I'm here. How do I get like, what is it? 17 seconds is what they want? How do they, let's just like give it some gas at this point. Shoot, let's just, screw it. Keep going. No, how do I restart? Does it add time if I hit the stuff? I'm not really sure. Oh, this is tough. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, I mean, better time. Let's try like one more time and then see what's up. I will say, even with the boost, it's not like the fastest vehicle in the world. Oh, shoot. No. Oh my god, I ended up back at the beginning? Get me out of here. Yeah, abandon the event. Jeez. What a time. RSVP. It's cute. It's definitely... It is Lego Forza vibes. By the same time, again, it doesn't quite hit that hard, but it's it's cute. It's fun. I think I like it more than if we're thinking of like this kind of tier of, you know what? This was pretty solid. Um, I like it more than if you again, you've been watching this sh series a lot. You know the DC Justice League Cosmic Chaos game. I like it more than that game, but it kind of feels like similar energy to me. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go over to this. Actually, this waypoint's closer. Let's go to this. Yeah, I feel like you need to have some type of maintenance. Yeah, I've never had maintenance or management on site. It's just been like, hope the shit's not bad. And usually, the places I get have been pretty good. Um, I have a long history of looking for apartments. But also, like, I've had, like, the privilege of being in big cities, so there's, like, a lot of options for places, too. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I know this. I'm not great at it, but I know it. All right, let's try to, like, hug this boost a little bit more. Oh, this just drift around the track? That's the thing? Do I just have to drift the whole time? Like... Okay. Sure. It's cute. What was the, like, tiers of stuff you could do, though? Like, did I not, not get the highest tier? There's this guy here, too. Look around using R to control the camera and you can come behind you with R3. Okay. Let me see if there's like a better way to do this. Um, testing my dryer, I hope it works. The, the thing that I really look for and kind of scrutinize over that's like not a listy thing, but like a vibe is like the shower pressure. I love good shower pressure. So usually I'll like turn on the shower while I'm there <laughs> looking at the place. Let's see. Um, let me see. Um, I think like this is just like you just do it. I guess I'll do it one more time to see if I get a higher score or something. You gotta ask me to shower. I don't. I don't go full out and take the shower, but I do use the. Sh I do turn on the shower. You know. You got to. Um. Even though I hate the process of like 
moving in the packing sense because it's like you gotta pack all your shit up then you gotta unpack it and you're sweaty and i've always dreamed of hiring movers and i've never done it it's like because it's just so expensive i'm like oh fuck it i just i'll just suffer um maybe one day i don't think this move is gonna have movers either but Trophy hunter. Trophy hunter. Um. But what else? What else? Oh, I do like looking at apartments, though. Like, trying to find that, like, perfect apartment. Like, it's... I, you know, I will say, it's kind of fun for me, honestly. Um, like, I like the newness of being somewhere new and... Usually better. Uh, most of my places have been upgrades in some form. You know, um, even though like historically, I would say like my nicest apartment ever. Actually, it might be this one. Competitive with the one I had in Chicago. The, sh the most recent Chicago one I had was really good in-unit did have in -unit washer dryer. I will say this, the biggest L at my current apartment is the lack of in-unit washer dryer. I want to like try to get that. I wonder if there's like a hill. Like, I don't know if y'all see what I'm trying to get. Like, there's like all these dollars stacked up together. That could be cool. Um, but yeah, I like a lot of things about my current place. It was a pretty good find. The unit I the unit I saw the shower was as tall as me. This one is higher. Um, nice. Presumably, right? Did you see my cosplay? For Link and your Discord? No, I didn't. Um, I haven't caught that yet. To be fair, this isn't the same unit that they showed me, even though I asked multiple times if I would get. Oh, that sucks. That's that's so fucking annoying. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That's like not cool at all. Unfortunately, there's just like there's a lot of bullshit that happens with things too. You know. That's like so not cool. No, the Vishon cosplay. <laughs> Whew, okay. Um, so this is fill the boost meter and then tap X. So I guess these are more like tutorial things I'm doing, but... Wait, shit. Where is this at? Wait, no, I, I fucked up, right? It's over here? Where is... What? Okay. And now there's like another one somewhere else. Quick turn button for sharper turns. Square for quick turn. Okay. It's like boosty turns. And then I think we just go to. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I give it? Oh shit. The real chaos that we have going on over here is. Jeez. Okay. There's no way we're hitting whatever goal they wanted us to hit, cause but everyone wants this flare. Okay. Smashing the bricks to repair your vehicle and get more boost. It's the latest bottle of flare. Where's the next one? Okay. Use your boost button to go faster. So turn like this way, maybe? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the verbal statements. That's where they get ya. Stop by Unky's Emporium anytime you want, and use brick bucks to pick up more cool flair and more stuff. Kids say cool, right? I know they say flair. All right. We. All right. Um. Should I do this one, I guess, next? These, like, abilities and stuff are really cool, but I kind of wish it was, like, a little bit more tutorialized because they kind of just happen. Maybe there's going to be a tutorial for it in a bit. Um, yeah, I hope the place starts to take a turn for the better. It sounds like it's a rough, uh, a rough start here. But yeah, I like the newness and the possibility of places. 
and all that. The really the big thing I try to look at is like what what do I think in a giving listing might annoy me or what like issues might come up. Sometimes it's really small stuff too. Like with this apartment that I have now, one of the drawbacks is there's no like communal closet storage. Like we have no place to put brooms, mops, or vacuums because there's just no storage. Like there's no hall closet or um, some people call it like a mud room, like that entryway kind of area. Like there is no storage. So like it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it does end up making the place look a bit messier because like we just have to have like brooms and mops. Like there's a little tiny gap between like the fridge and the wall that we put like, I think the broom, but like the mops just in a bucket in the hallway. Like there's not a place to put it. Uh, the vacuum is just next to our television in the living room. So, little stuff like that. Um, okay, let's see. Right, the quick turn. Yeah, yeah, I, I learned about the quick turn. Oh, but uh, the mushrooms. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, champ. Let's Shit, I missed it. Classic. Fuck, I messed up. Try using your quick turn I'm trying! One mushroom to another. Damn it. This shit's hard as fuck. Bitch. Ah! Oh my god, I suck. Can I restart? Whoa, I'm like really bad at it. I'm trying. Hold square while turning. I'm I'm doing that. Whoa, that was quick. Oh my gosh. Do I have to get all of them? Oh, just destroy as many as you can. Okay. I'm like kind of uh <laughs> I'm like losing my mind here. More than just fun. It repairs your vehicle and charges your boost meter. Or am I getting a little dizzy? Oh gosh, okay. And I'm just kinda like, alright. Nice turn. Can I just and take me out of my misery, I'm not gonna get all these mushrooms. These are like lined up pretty nicely. Who's left? Who's left? Um The slowest, like, movement ever. I'm learning the mechanics still. Oh, now it's going too fast. Whew. Like, it's solid, but it's it's not a banger by any means. This feels like the kind of game that you would play just to be like, you know what? I feel like playing it. You know what I mean? Like, you, I think you get a much better, but I'll be at a harder experience with like a Forza Horizon. Um, but it's like, oh, it's cute. Like, there's something really trying about the art. I do like the vehicle um, changes as you move terrain, but I do think that like it's part too slow, even with the boost. But also like really chaotic um, and maybe that chaos will become less uh, overwhelming as time goes on if you want to build your own set of wheels just talk to sunny monkey and head inside Ooh, okay but you need to know these garages are also fast travel points you're welcome to stay at turbo acres and can always return whenever you like but if you're ready to start on the road to the Sky Cup Grand Prix, you can fast travel over to Big Butte County and okay. begin your adventure. What do you say, Hotshot? You ready to fa- Sure. Just- Um, I'll say no because I want to maybe like buy some stuff or like do some stuff first. Well, that mic is very sensitive. Wait, like mine? Is it because like, you can hear me breathe? Is that the thing? Um, the mic I have is actually- I forget the name for it. Um. We heard you gulp. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a name for it. There's like two kinds of microphones and one is meant for like more music production and things where it picks up sound really easily. Um, and the other is meant for podcasting where it picks up voice, but like blocks out other sound. It was a big gulp, but that's why. Like I forgot if someone knows um, audio a little bit more, you might be able to tell me like the condenser versus like non-condenser microphone basically. And this one is like not really the best kind for what I do, but it's the one that Isaiah bought himself just to use. And then he gave me this mic and I don't know what he uses actually. He just uses another mic he has. I don't know. 
Um, this is a really good microphone. You know, I think it's Audio Technica. Um, I think it's Audio Technica at least. I kind of want to see now, but I put a filter over it so I can't see the logo. But that's the con. So I'm actually thinking about a yeah, condenser. I hardly know her. Um, I'm thinking about maybe buying a new microphone when I do my next apartment slash like studio upgrade and buying the same like brand and everything, but just changing it out for a different type of microphone because this does pick up sound in like an inconvenient way. But in general, I want to like do a couple different mic stuff at the new place. So um, we'll see what kind of stuff I want to spend money on. At the end of the day, like I could just take what I have and plug it all in somewhere else and that works, right? It's a pretty good setup. Camera's pretty solid. My quality is good. It works well for shows. Stream setup's good. But I want to use this time to also make improvements and like build on what I have. So uh, we'll see. I, I would love to get like a really good camera just in general. But those get really expensive. We're talking about like... 500 to like over a thousand bucks, you know, when you think about the body and the lens and it's like, okay, or I could just use this $30 camera I have that works totally fine. So we'll see what I end up doing. Condenser mics are just a different tech. Depends on the specific model and what it's good for, but yeah, in general condensers, yeah. So, you know, when you go on like the auto technical website, they mention like two different things did you find the best for it no i have i've actually haven't played in like two or three days um i've been like super busy this week um i've gotten like very little play time in though i'm hoping that it finally tells me how much my um how many hours i have in tears of the kingdom because i've been waiting for that to drop for a while um no it still just says first played eight days ago give me my data nintendo um okay cool and then they're Telling me to like, I don't know, buy something or something. So they have the drive pass, no thanks. I have $413. Um, oh my God, look, they have Lord Ben. Ben Hansen right here for $6,000. Skull Rocket, that's pretty cool. I know, like, <sighs> this is adorable. I love this. No, 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 I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it though. I don't want to use my real money to buy this. <laughs> this is really cute though. These are really adorable, I'm not gonna lie, but also like 4,000 when you only have like a couple hundred bucks, like, that's kind of a pain. Mmm. Yeah, but... It seems, I wish I already had some, some money, you know what I mean? Oh, weird, you don't show up on my friends list for people playing Zelda. I'm not playing this second, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah. I don't know. We are friends, though, on the console, I think. All right, champ. You're prepared for what's next. When you're ready, come meet me at the Um, garage. Joe, are you another, um, the Microsofts are pretty egregious, though. Are you another member of the, uh, the LEGO 2K Drive army? Yeah, this is how he finds out he's blocked on Nintendo Switch. Um, is this on Game Pass? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's do a quick Google. It is not on Game Pass. Hello. Welcome to our. There are also free banana smoothies. Well, all this welcoming is tiring. No problem, monkey. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like them big monkeys, I'll be honest. I know they're... I guess they're trying to... You can end a tutorial anytime by going to the options menu. I guess they're trying to do the, like, grease monkey thing, but I'm like, mm. I know, but, like... I don't know. Like not a fan. Ooh, ooh. What's your favorite color? We need the paint tool in the toolbox, so go ahead and open it up. Now select the paint tool. Ooh, ah. Let's paint all the red parts a different color. That's I'll cool. Show you how to select all the red bricks at once. Move the little circle within a circle thingy over the Here's a pro tip. Press select all color. See? That was quick. Now, let's
Let's change up these red bricks. How about a cool metallic color instead of red? When you move the selection, the color of your vehicle will change to show you what it looks like. Pick any color you want. Ooh, ah! I I don't I just don't want that color, so I'm gonna change it out. Ooh, ooh, Stop. Ten dollars. Oh, you can like build a car, build a car. That's like, that's too much for me right now. How do I get out? Yeah, like the bill, that's pretty impressive. Just get me out of here, that's too much. I can't, I can't do all that. I'll just take my, right, oh so no! You're prepared for what's next. When you're ready, come meet me at the <laughs> You can just drive nothing? That's so funny, let me fix that. No, 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 no. That's scary. Mm -mm. We gotta fix that. Ooh, uh, did you know that? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I have uh, my. You, okay, yeah, you girl, stop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. You can learn how to. I don't know what you're saying, and I don't care anymore. Stop. Option, mm -mm. We'll create a copy, and if you so See? look, we're exactly. on the go. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I gotta just. uh... Oh, uh, Joe, since you're playing, let me know if, like, do I have special ones? Because I think a lot of times they give you, like, the special edition of these games, like the digital, like, fancier edition. So, like, does everyone start with these? Or do I have these because I have, like, the mega edition or some shit? You can go to the start menu and change the load from there. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's mess around with this uh, vehicle thing a little bit. And we also pick up Doritos. They didn't have ketchup when I went there. What? They had mustard. I got the Lux Edition, so you are even more special. Uh, damn! I got the fucking, uh, I don't know. The Ultra Press Edition. <laughs> I am excited to have that burger, though. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, this is, like, intense. I'm a little overwhelmed, to be honest. This is the hood. Yeah, there's a ketchup and mustard Dorito now. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is like too much. This is too much. Um, in a good way, you know? Like, I respect it, but... It's a little intimidating. Okay, so then how do I, like, get more- Oops! How do I redo? There's undo. Can I redo? Okay, how do I pick up a new brick? Okay. I don't fully know what I'm making here, but like, let's just try out some stuff. Can I zoom in? Hmm. R2 zooms. Okay, there you go. I'm sure this is stuff the monkeys told me, but like, I don't want to hear them. They're really annoying. They're like, ah, I'm like, I'm not doing all that. We're just gonna deal with it. It's cool that you can like also like program different stuff going on. Oh. I want to try to make like a heart, like a heart car, but I don't know how to. Is it like a seat? Do I have to make the seat myself? Ch 
chicken chips. I'm sure people are building like bonkers stuff in here. And then could I do like, I guess just give me a... Give me a four. Okay. Oops. So we got select all color. No. Oops. Hmm. How do I like color everything? Oh, here it goes. This is something. What about the base? Can I like... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Do I have to like build the chairs? You can also unlock more bricks as you play the game. Okay. Um... Let's do... Let's just make like a weird thing and see what it's like. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Let's just leave this as is for now. And just, if that circle will ask me about saving it. No, what can I do? Oh wait, we can also do like cus customize. Oh, okay. You can change the wheels and stuff. Put these stickers and stuff. Um, what other stuff can you customize? We can do... That's pretty cool. Hmm. It's cool, you can have like different sounds for the different times. Also change the stats. The halo and badge, because I know, right? That's cool. Okay, um... They have like so much cute stuff. <laughs> Look at this thing. What if we just make like the most unhinged car that we can? It's like a pig? What is this? I feel like we're getting a little bit of a bug with the color here, but you know what? Whatever. I don't know. Let's do, um... Okay, how do I, like, leave? Save? I'll maybe equip this vehicle and see what's up. All right, champ. You're prepared I don't like that I'm not this. on the vehicle. Oh, there I am. Come meet me at the garage. 
I don't like that you're not like automatically in the vehicle. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll do that. I find that kind of odd that you can have a car with no driver, though. No, I don't know. I did not know, and I don't want to know. <laughs> did you now? I don't, I don't want to hear from you. I hate you, okay. There we go. And then what could be the wheel? <laughs> Can we like come up with a wheel somehow? Something that could act like the wheel? Mm. Just put this here for now, and then let's just put some blocks, some regular blocks. Okay. This will be my pretend wheel. Yeah, like, they're so, like, annoying. I don't know. We'll do like a brown, maybe? Okay, this is my car. <laughs> really knows what this thing was in the from the start. It's like really odd. There's like some pettiness in here, I'm not gonna lie. All right, champ. You're prepared All right. for what's next. When you're ready, come meet me at the garage. You know what? Actually, I want to make it so the flower is always moving. I kind of want to just customize everything, though, and make everything kind of, like, jank-looking. Oh! I don't know if you can customize every type of vehicle out the gate, though. Okay, get- Girl- <laughs> Stop. Would you let me do what I need to do? Okay, I think we're just gonna make fucking dumb cars for a second. So I like that you can program these. It's very cute. I'm just gonna make it always on. And I do wonder... Like, can I... Something, an idea I have. Actually, let's just leave this as is for now. But maybe do... What other accessories do we have? This will be like my little flower car, I guess. Um, what kind of like things can it be on though? Cause, hold on, hold on. Can it not be on like this? No, it can't, okay. All right. Like, this is kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. It's a little, like, burgery, though, in the color scheme. But Oh, we have different colors, though, too. Let's do glowing. Oh, maybe not. Let's not do flat, let's do glow. Oops, wrong thing. I want to do this one. We'll make this one like this, maybe? No, it's too similar to the other one. Okay. Should we have to put it on the side? Oh yeah, that'd be cute. The side would be good. Maybe we'll do that instead.
Okay, rotate. Rotate vertical, R1. Okay, yeah. I mean, you could have them everywhere, but it might be better on this side. Move selected, rotate. So, Joe, are you, like, liking this game? What's your situation? For me, it's... I think the highs are the art design, um, like, the art style, um, the customization freedom, even though I think they are, like, kind of petty with some of this stuff, for sure. Hold on, I want to move this. Let me move this. Hold on. No, I don't want to, like, I just want to pick it up. Let me pick it up. What? Hold on, move selected. Not this one, though. Not this one. There we go. There we go. Move selected. We got it. We're figuring it out. Uh, the microtransactions are microtransactioning, which is unfortunate. Um, there's aspects of the creator that could be a little bit smoother, but it's mostly pretty good. Let's see. Um, other stuff. The feel isn't great. I wish it felt better to drive. I really like the racing exploring, but the mini games have been ass. I haven't played it yet, but the racers peaked at N64. That could be true, I don't know. Um, if the gameplay feel was a little bit better, I think this would be like kind of a banger, but it doesn't quite feel as good as I wished it did. I just actually know this game is a bit of an oof. Yeah, it just feels like kind of petty, you know, like, and personally, it, it makes me not really want to play as much because I'm a big cosmetics person, especially for a game like this. And I think it just kind of has that feeling of, um, we can also duplicate. That's nice. Much easier than what I was doing. Okay, so now let's do, oops, well, let's just do the color here. Let's do a white. Oops. Let's do a maybe a blue, a yellow, a oops, a like kind of purpley, an orange, and this neony color. This stuff's really cool, though. I do like that. Um, let's leave this as is. Save. And can I, like, show her, maybe? The show might just be where all the cards, like, hang out, though. I don't know. I recall the music being pretty good. Don't recall how most of it goes, though. I feel... I think the feel takes a bit to get used to. I expected Mario Kart, but I think it's a lot closer to Hot Wheels Unleashed. I feel like Hot Wheels Unleashed feels way better than this. Oh, I love the glowing flowers, so that's very cute. Um, And Hot Wheels Unleashed, like, it's... It's interesting because Hot Wheels Unleashed has like its own different set of problems. I do, do think overall it's a, it's the better game. I think Hot Wheels Unleashed is a bit underrated. Um, it's full of challenge that the levels are beautiful looking. And I do like the look of this game as well, but it it just feels a little slow to me is the thing. Even with the boost, like someone pointed out, oh, you got to be boosting, though. You're like haven't used the boost yet, which is fair. Like I had just started and I wasn't really aware of the boost. Uh, we'll see how some more races feel, though. I haven't done a race in a while. I've been doing just kind of like the side little stuff. It's it's Lego Forza, but not as good as that sounds, which I think that's the not as good part is a little bit of a bummer to me. Um, so, OK, let's do. Yeah, let's start. Let's do this and then see what do we got going on. Um, I don't want to spend too, too, too much time customizing. But I want to spend like a little bit of time customizing. I do want to actually run to the restroom really quick and then do some customization. Let's see. And then maybe a few races. So I'll probably be pretty fast with these customizations. They like might like not. I mean, the, <laughs> the other one is not done. <laughs> it is very janky. But for sake of time, you know, we'll do the last two and then 
drive with our like funky monstrosities which i do really like that aspect of the game i think it's pretty cool so uh hangs hat i'm gonna toss up the brb screen and in the meantime you can enjoy the song game on it's composed by eddie and i will be back in a couple minutes so hang tight
All right, let me make this somewhat quickly. Okay, um, let's see what stuff we have. This is like my off-road car or something. This stuff's gonna look like really ugly, <laughs> but it's okay. Can this even fit on this spot? Well, should I rotate it? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's decent. That's decent. Um. Can I program this though? Hold on, oop. Let's just do always on. Like everything's just always on. Um, and then let's do. That's it. Um, I do think it's pretty cool that you can have like these pretty janky builds, and it can they can just work. Like this is just. <laughs> Here's a question. Could I just... Can I just like... You know? Is that allowed? Can I then put the driver like on top of this? We don't need a test drive. We're just gonna do it. Okay, I think you can't put the driver this high. But I think I can, if I remove like... Maybe two of them. We can make that work. Okay, I think it's still a little too high. Let me put the driver up here. I think we're getting close. Let's just two more, maybe. Okay. Come on. Let my let me have my dream. Okay. All right. This is this is the build. <laughs> um I think too like just nothing but radar dishes. Like <laughs> just non-stop radar dishes going on at all times. And then let's program these to always just be on. Always on. This is gonna be like a really bad experience for everybody, but it seems funny. So um, let's do that. Let's save. Yep, this is it. I think we did agree that the showroom just had like, the, it was like the more general menu. Okay, so we have this, we have this thing. I do want to change the colors though really quick actually. Hold on, I fucked up. I do want to change the colors because I don't want them just to be just to be gray. It's like a little boring. Um, let's do just paint and then let's just select all, select color. Um, I think like a brown could be good because it's just like, oops. Maybe just select, oop. Maybe just this thing. Can I make this a different color? Maybe not. Okay, this is like good enough. Like, that's fine. And then showroom. Um, I did see it already. Oh, I saw the Medicare gets a 74. Um, which I think that's, that, that doesn't surprise me. Like, that sounds like, okay, yeah, like it's, it's all right, you know. Okay, we gotta quickly make these because we're running out of time. Let's do, I like this. So I want to get a couple races in with these uh, chaotic builds that we have. Um, I like these little fans. This could be good. And then I think this is also good. Like this little jet, if this can fit anywhere. I don't know if this fits anywhere on anything right now. I don't think it does. Zoom in a bit. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, we could put like a thing though. Like just maybe some blocks can help with that. 
Then we could do maybe the thing again. Let me put the jet. Yeah. Okay, and then program. Whoops. Just have always on. Everything's just always on. Just because, just for the chaos of it. Um, now let's do paint. Let's just do select all and then... Ooh, let's do clear. That put you over... You're built over the limit. What? What do you mean over the limit? I don't understand. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. We're just gonna... I don't even know if I'm playing this after this. Like, let me just keep going. You know what? If you don't want... If you want to stifle my creativity, go ahead. Or is the game with crafting? This is fantastic. It... That's a little... That's... That's not what... I, that is more than right, I would give it. Camp. You're prepared for what's next. When you're ready, come meet me at But the there garage. are some redeeming qualities here, you know? Good afternoon. Uh, we have some pensive nacho. How's it going? Let me double check the loadout, though, that I have. Yes. And then who else is here? Do I have anybody, like... This person's pretty cool. Let's go with this person. And apparently I have them because I have, like, a super duper version of the game or something. Oh, really? Yeah, like, this... It is solid. Um, I will say, like, quick pros, which we'll go over this again, too, when we transition into a different game. Pros, great art, um, fun idea. Like, it has, like, a Forza setup to it, which is really cool to me. Like, that's very appealing in a game like this. Um, there's a story mode. And I think the building stuff is super cool. Like, this is the car I made, and it's ugly and it's dumb, but, like, it's mine, you know? Um... Cons, microtransactions, um, and also in a way, and you can earn the money in the game yourself, but like, I feel like they're going to be really petty about like what you can get, and I feel like that takes away from a lot of the fun. Also, the feel, which uh, took us to talk in the chat, says you get used to the feel and start to jive with it more, but for me, the feel is a little bit slow. Um, wait, does it not have my monstrosity car? My like weird uh, giant one? Let me see. Yeah, where's my giant car? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, I want, I want this guy. This is my car. And then, yeah, they do have my vehicle. Look at this. Look at how stupid this is. Hold on, I messed up because the front one's supposed to be on all the time too. Let me fix it. <laughs> Let me fix it. I gotta fix that. Front, the front one should be spinning I'm in the all the time. Of my break, but I'll let Sunny know. Okay, let me edit. The front one should always be on at all times as well. So, let's click on this and hit program. Always on. There we go. Save. Quick garage. Yeah, I thought I had it equipped, but right, I didn't. Yes, look at this. Look how stupid this is. Ready, it's great. And that's actually- that is pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's... That's pretty enjoyable. Like, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. This is good. This is good gaming. <laughs> I, I do also really like this aspect of it, where you're changing, um vehicles on the fly like automatically as you change terrain it just swaps your vehicle i think it's very seamless and very fun so shout out to that um well i have a marker here though so i guess yeah i guess it's like i'm supposed to go to him and i was just distracted by but that's kind of like a good sign right it's like being distracted by the fun that there is to have on your own you know look at this <laughs> Right. Let's talk to this guy. Ready to head out to Big Butte County, champ? Yes. All right. Then open your world map. You're at the garage in Turbo Acres. Garages are special because it seems there's like a lot of content yes, too. It's so. Big County, a brand new place for you to explore, race, and try new activity. We'll need a garage to bam. Here's your now. Then simply move the cursor over the new garage in Big Butte County, and it's definitely like, and you know, maybe because it's a Lego game, it is inherently targeted at a younger age, but it's giving like your first You've game, you know, <laughs> with the layout. I couldn't blame you if you decided to just settle here for good. 
But don't let the slow pace and glorious landscape fool you. Racing is everywhere in Big Butte. Weaving in and out of the great stone monuments. Surging along the I guess I'll let him talk. I was like, should I skip? And tearing up the town with friendly competition. Okay. I know you got what it takes to get to the Sky Cup Grand Prix, win the Sky Trophy, and be crowned the greatest racer mm. in Britlandia. The set, I think. Now you just your first race is done. Open your world. Move the cursor over to Dust Devil Run and place a waypoint. Now you'll be able to close the world map. And Stud and I are always here if you need us. Now go be the champion I know you are. Like, the fact that you can make your own car, though, is so cool, and that, like, I don't know, there's something really, really awesome about that. Um, it's a solid game. Like I said, I like it more than the, uh, DC Cosmic Chaos one, even though I also, like, kind of respected what that had. Um, where I was like, oh, this is better than I thought it would be, but... Um, it's definitely, like, missing a lot of things that I wish it had. In a sense, like I have a lot of notes for it, you know what I mean? It's a busy day here at Dust Devil Run. Right you are, Parker. The pig farm is operating at full stink ahead. There are reports of several tornadoes. And even though a race is about to start, Chip Hauser's flight school is still in session. Vicky, I had the chance to talk to Chip Hauser before the race. Even though it was very hard to understand him because his mouth was full of food, one thing was clear. He's hungry. For a win. The fact that I have no steering wheel is so silly, but here we go. I'm sad my boat doesn't look stupid, but that's okay. Oh yeah, and the power-up stuff. And the power-up stuff is wild looking. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. It's hard to see over this car that I made. <laughs> but okay, I gotta remember to hit boost. And it's like there's just like a lot happening on screen, and yet it's happening like in slow motion to me. So that's my thing with the racing. Like the racing doesn't feel great. If it felt a little bit better to race, I think I'd be like a lot more into this game. But for me, the feel of it does not hit well. Loser bus, chicken wings. And sure, I do have to remember to boost a little bit more, but at the same time, it's like, all right. I sort of barely perceive the power-ups I get too. It's like, I don't know, I'm just, pressing buttons and things are happening. Oh yeah, I put so many bricks on the car build. My car. But it's like, look at what's going on. Like, I have no idea what's going on, you know? Oh, I just am. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, I don't know. Final lap. All right, final lap. We gotta kick it in high gear now. No, I'm first, so it doesn't really do anything. But I did a thing. oh shoot, that hurt. I like kind of lost track of what's going on. Get out of my way! Ah, okay. Where's the end? There's the end. Oh shit! Okay, go. Ah! I like this. I just dragged myself across the finish line. It feels a bit clunky and slow. Yes, but that's not that's not just because I put a lot of bricks on the car. Like that's just how it feels. Like the stats, like your build does not change your stats at all. You can unlock new like stat builds. Um. But your build itself, like, does not have any effect on how the car moves. It's just, like, that's just how the cars drive. Like, they drive very slowly. See, like, you won, like, a health boost kind of thing. Really? 
I thought you're, um, oh, my bad then. I guess I'm mistaken, but I think it would move slow regardless because I had the original thing and it still was slow. But you do have, like, stats that you can assign your car. Um, I don't think I can go to the garage from here. I think I can only change my loadout from here. Oh, dang it. You won, so you get my checker flag, right? I'm pretty... You know, maybe I should try that whole apply myself thing. That oh, okay. It's based on the bricks you use. Okay, cool. You beat your first rival. Not quite the same <laughs> thing. This thing as looks so me. dumb. I will add this chick one more fine. Open your world, man. Oh my gosh. I've highlighted the looking for Uh huh. Even though it's like I like press it and then I don't know what's going on because I wasn't listening to him. Okay, well, I can't. This is locked, yes. Or no, maybe it's not. I should not have uh, ran through what you had to say, I guess. Racing 101. It's locked by like, I have to get to level four. Mm. But yeah, we can like, let's see if we look at my loadout too. I have like other stuff. I have this, which is great. I'm gonna like earn more cars too. This is the car that I made, this little thing. Um, this is like one that I unlocked or that I now unlocked. It came in the thing I had. Um, let's see. We'll do... can do him for the off-road. We'll get fancy as we start to approach the end. I wish they would... you would have given this a four-hour stream. I had a lot of same issues in the beginning, but it felt a lot better to play it. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those weeks where we got a couple things out. I do like the feel of this one more, to your point, of the different builds and things. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It might be worth sticking with uh, for longer than I plan to do. Though, you know, it's it's also the, uh... It's tough. It's the era of, um... Tears of the Kingdom. Like, it's like, it's not gonna be a lot of time for, your, for this in general. But this wouldn't be, like, a an immediate delete to me. I think it's solid. It's just that, like... I wish it felt different. And maybe the feel will get better over time, like Joe's mentioning. But also, like, I don't know. Maybe it won't. Um... So should I just drive around and, like, look for what's going on? But yeah, look at this little hamburger. And again, like, you guys won't have the hamburger. I think I have this one because of, um, having, like, the special edition thing or whatever. Like, I got, I just got this through a code, but they usually give you, like, the code for the deluxe edition or whatever edition that gives you, like, extra things. Um, makes the biggest, tastiest omelet. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's great for you, man. Spongebob that I wish. Did you guys see that Spongebob? They're doing um, a bikini bottom power wash simulator thing. That's gonna be awesome. Hey, Nian, thanks for the resub. What's up? How's it going? Yeah. We got the new sheriff in town. It's a very cute town. Then we have like, this is like the garage again. Or something, right? Yeah, it's the garage. Yes, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Spongebob thing. Yeah, you love Spongebob. I mean, who doesn't? To know Spongebob is still love Spongebob, to be honest, but, you know. I'd say you love Spongebob more than most, is the thing. Let's see. Tunnel Vision. Have I done this, actually, yet? Did you go machine for the Power Wash uh, DLC? Maybe, but also, I'll be honest. Power Wash Simulator puts me to sleep, and it's not because it's a bad game, like, it's a cool game, but I get really tired <laughs> playing that game. Like, I start knocking out. It's like my go- like, if you can't sleep, put on Power Wash Simulator, because it- Oh man, this is cool, I didn't know- let you know that's like this. Yeah, it's like too relaxing, like I'm out for the count playing Power Wash Simulator. Yeah! Um, so there's, like, cute little things, you know, around the world. Um, so it has a kind of, like, exploration vibe that... Oh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. That Forza has. I want to talk to him, but he's, like, not... I can't talk to him for some reason. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't know that... I didn't mean to try to boost through the tunnel. So we'll just keep going around, see what's up. See what we find out in the world. But yeah, so a lot of, like, little challenges and things. I just wish it drove, like, a little bit... More Yeah, just faster, frankly. I don't I don't have anything else to say besides that it feels like it goes too slow. 
Oh, I started trying to accent so I can talk to him. Okay, cool. Like someone's too chicken to enter the big race. Oh, damn, all right. Okay, discovery. Got a donut place. New quest, snacking. Okay, so what's up with this guy? Why can't I talk? Oh, here it goes. You remind me of Mabel Bar. I think it's the eyes, the black dots. There's like so many people to talk to. You can just smoosh over everybody. Okay. Shortcut Ace. Race through the runway roundabout shortcuts. Okay. Hopefully they label them. I don't know if they will. All right. All right. Going good so far. This does feel a little bit better, this car, than my uh, weirdo van I made. Okay. All right. You need to square for like these kind of, oop, 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 oop. Oh, we messed up, we messed up. I hit square and I turned too heavily. Shoot. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Hey, go, go, go. You know the fact that I, the camera's going really wild. That that was totally a me thing and not the game itself. All right. Driving. Here we go. Riding around. Oh, what do I do? Get me out of here! Ah! It's rough times all around. Wow! Oh! The game should show you what the next game is. What's called? Yeah, I would. Like, I would love like a. Like a slightly erased one. I saw which Tears of the Kingdom Spider-Man 2 were like, okay, these are probably game of the year, but what are the actual interesting games? Wait, I wish games like Tears of the Kingdom Spider-Man were in an, okay, yeah, these are probably actually game of the year, but what are the actual interesting games that have conversations about category? Wait, what do you mean? I feel like I'm just like reading it funny and I like don't get it. Um, I think it makes sense with races and challenges. But there's a lot of like bump into things with your car type of challenges that are not fun. We got this thing, a little collectible. Would you be, would you help me name us by delivering these flowers to my crush? He's in a food truck and is wearing bunny ears. Yeah, I know. Okay, cool. So I just have to find him? Cute music. Like, get rid of the heavy hitters. Oh, like, game of the year if these games didn't come out. Not game of the year, but good. Definitely, definitely not Game of the Year award. Award. Okay, he's in a food truck and a lot downtown. Is, do I get any indication of where this man would be? I just gotta find him. He's in a food truck and a lot downtown. Am I? Am I downtown now? He's wearing bunny ears. I think he's around. No, wait, 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 wait. He's in the highlight area. Yeah, I just, I just, it just clicked for me. Okay. So he's got to be somewhere around. Let me see if it, it's it's a lot. So it's gonna be like the parking lot in a lot downtown. Food truck, bunny ears. Shoot. Oh, what the fuck? Are this a bunch of rats? Man, he's going through it, but we can't help him right now. We got other things to do. He's got bunny ears, food truck. The Bricky Mart. Food 
Food truck, bunny ears. Uh, I see an ice cream truck. I don't really think of an ice cream truck as a food truck, but like, it's, you know... It's not not a food truck, you know what I mean? It's not him. Hook, okay. You can jump with triangle. Um, stay in the highlight area. Oh yeah, I keep, I keep, uh... Leaving, I guess. Wait, no, I'm inside it right now. Okay. Where is this man at? Okay. He's in a food truck in a lot downtown. Okay, well, it's gotta be a parking lot downtown. We're like ruining everyone's lives. Okay. Well, let's, let's go to, to the lots again. This is like the spot that has the guy with the rats, right? Yeah, it's like, this is Rat Boy. And I'm going a little bit out, but that's just to make this turn. A lot downtown. He's in a food truck in a lot downtown. And I'm, go I'm like, teetering on the edge here, but... Okay, we got, like, the donut place. They do show like a little arrow here. Is this him? It's a food truck, not like a traditional establishment. See, there's cops. There's, um... Hmm. This guy is at a vending machine. Where is this man at? Where is this man? Sir! I'm having a hard time finding him, I don't... <laughs> okay, here's like some cars. This is a lot downtown. Wait, is this him? No, this is like so fucking someone else. Yeah, and that's like great mini games. I mean, I see there's like someone making food. What lot downtown is he at? Okay. I know. Okay, let's see. Bitch, and this song is just like, this was cool the first few moments and now I'm just annoyed. You unlock the taco <laughs> drag car eventually. Will he be here? Sir. It's a food truck though. I don't see this man. Girl, where is your man at? He's in bunny ears. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This got to be him. These are all food trucks. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, this- oh yeah, this is this bitch. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fucking finally. So, take me to her. You better tell me where the fuck she's at. Okay, here it goes. Sorry. <sighs> Shit. Just don't even worry about it. But who's this guy? What the fuck? You did it first try. Apparently I got the wrong guy, but... It was a lot. It was more than I wanted it to be. But we did level up. We... Looks like you're ready for the next challenge. You can now access Butte Loops. Or if you're in the mood for loops, but something different, try infinite loop. The burger car is very cool. Very creative. 
They even put the guy inside there. I don't think there's actually a wheel in the burger, though. But it's cute. It's very cute. Whew! Um... If I never hear from the door again, it'll be so too soon. Um, yeah, it's all right. I think the biggest beef is probably the microtransactions in the sense that the driving, that'll always be up for debate. I think it's a little too slow, but you know, yeah, I know she's redoing it. That's my thing. People, different people might feel differently about that. But yeah, so this is not an instant delete. It's not like I didn't like fuck with it at all, but I don't know if I'd want to see this through. I feel like it's the kind of thing to go back to what I said before, it's the kind of thing where I feel like if you end up beating this game, it's because you just kind of felt like, you know what? Yeah, I feel like I want this style of game. It's chill. It's not that hard, right? It's like something to do, but it's not, it doesn't demand to be played in my opinion. So that's like a 2K drive. Um, overall, it was kind of about what I expected. I am a little disappointed that I'm not a little bit more hot on it because I would like the, I think the driving was a little bit better to me. I would be way more into it. Um, frankly, even like pretty low budget racing games, I enjoy more than this game. Um, even something like Beach Buggy Racing, I think has a better racing feel than this game, which you would think would be the opposite because this is, I'm sure had a more of a budget, you know? Um, but again, that's always up for a debate on what, what you look for in that feel for a racing game. But yeah, this was like a 2K drive. Let's go ahead and take a quick BRB break just for me to transition over into, actually, do I want to, yeah, we'll do like a light, a light BRB because then I can change like the art assets and stuff for humanity. So uh, hang tight, I'll be back in a couple minutes um, with humanity. So uh, I'll be right back.
Yo, this is like kind of spooky, <laughs> the vibes over here. Uh, let me pop out the projector. Um, so I did start this, I guess, well, to intro this, this is humanity. Um, let me grab all the info y'all might need on this real fast. Oh, humanity game, obviously. So this is um, published by Enhance, but developed by THA Limited or Tha Limited. Um, it is a puzzle game essentially, and it's for the PS5, PS4, and PC. It's also uh, playable in PSVR 2. I've just tried the VR mode. I did play this a little bit already, um, just because I want to spend a little bit of time with it. Oh, loud, 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 loud. My bad. My bad. I'm lowering it a lot. So, um, let me see if I can. If I can um, go to the select, so we can just like, can I like, I just, I don't know, this part? Maybe just new game? Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Sure. I just want to show you all the beginning because I played like five levels. So this is the beginning of the game. And I, so I woke one morning to find I was a dog. I heard a voice inside my head. Good morning. We have been waiting. There is work to be done. The haptic feedback on this too, I'm playing on PS5, is really nice. You like feel them like typing out the, like the words. Uh, you must guide the people to the light. These are the people. So, um, you know, folks have compared this game to um, Lemmings, um, to, let me know if the stuff is too loud. So it's L and then X to jump. So basically all you do is you, here they got the little tutorials, that's uh, move and then zoom in, zoom out. Again, I heard the voice. Well, will you not lift up your voice? How else will you guide them? And they have like little tutorial circles on the ground. So this is the main mechanic. It's telling people where to go, you know, up, down, left, right. And you just hit square to go ahead and do that. And each level you're just trying to get them to the light and it'll be, you know, different challenges throughout. It's like a little barky bark here. Then when they get here, they gotta go this way. And then again, this is like the same deal as the tutorial we already saw. The vibe down for myself a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is the game. These are the people. Onward they march. They're doing great. They're healthy, they're happy, they're having a good time. Off they flew. Up into the sky and into the light. There's something like very peaceful about this game and also like really satisfying when you finish the level, like the little like explosion thing. Kind of personally, like tonally, it reminds me of kids, like this old, uh, not old, because I think God, they came out like a few years ago. This mobile game, um, maybe it was on other platforms. It also reminds me of um, the like PS2, PS3 era of puzzle games. Like I kind of get like rain vibes from it, even though it has a different 
mechanic and goal. Um, it also really reminds me of Echo Chrome, which was a perspective puzzle game, though Echo Chrome was way harder than this is. Like, Echo Chrome was kind of too hard, if I'm being honest. Like, they did a little much with uh, Echo Chrome. Goldie Retriever. Um, another comparison that I made to this game, just because of the perspective, is like that Captain Toad kind of energy a little bit too. They hit next. Sometimes I forget to hit next. A gleaming figure floating in the air. Behold, this is Goldie. Goldie is all that people desire and value and worship. Big Toad energy, yes. Uh, beyond even my reasoning, lead Goldie along with them into the light. Do so and you'll be rewarded. To me too, this has like a lot of um, pseudo-religious vibes to it, um, oddly enough. Okay, here we go. Uh, then we gotta go this way. And then you can gotta go ahead and... I think, did I put this right direction? Yeah, and then this should be good. Oh wait, hold on. There's, oh yeah, so this is the thing I learned, but then I forgot. People can't climb up these. Um, they can only climb up the stuff that has like the lines on it. So now I'm like, okay, well let me actually get these people to go here. Then I'll get them to go here. And there's like a little tutorial thing that explains this, but I kind of just figure it out. Um, then you go here and then now, now it's good. I don't really need this here. And you can hold down square. Again, I'm playing on PlayStation to like take back the thing. Okay. But these, these, these folks are just like stuck here. But it doesn't matter. Like, it, you don't have to get like 100% of the people there. So I'm still gonna beat this level. I still get Goldie, but I left like all these people down here. And it's like, that's just their lives. They're just stuck there. Is the stage complete? Boom. Um, and then when you get the goldies, you get like various rewards. Um, I think some of them are like supposed to be cosmetic or something. Um, I was talking to like on the Min Max show, we had Mark McDonald from Enhance on the show to talk about um, humanity as well. And you know, and Jacob, had, Jacob Geller had like beaten the game and 100% it already. But apparently, like, it does do the one thing. Hey, man, yo, hell yeah. Um, it, I was going to mention, it does that one thing where you have to have a certain number of goldies to progress. I will say I don't like that structure. Um, just because as a player, sometimes I don't have enough of the thing and then I have to go back. And I ran into that with Captain Toad as well. Because Captain Toad has the same structure where you need a certain amount. But yeah, man, um, dead to me. You know what? Um, is this how it had to end? This is how it had to end, right? Grand opening, grand closing. Um, but yeah, I was just saying, I, I restarted, I was like five levels in, I'm like, let me restart fresh so y'all can see how it goes, how it builds. Um, I also really like that it has, it just hasn't unlocked yet in, um, me, like, restarting a new file. I heard the voice in my head. You need not fear, nor mourn their loss. Though their bodies are lost, their spirits perish. And soon they will walk through the door once again. Something you do too, so like, there's a couple things at play here, right? And you got these, again, tutorials that all kind of explain stuff going on in the level. So it's piecemealed out, like, pretty nicely. You can only fall from, like, a two-block height. And, you know, you see yourself <laughs> learning this as everyone falls around. So here it's like, there's a little bit of inspection, a little bit of generalized planning, right? I want to get all the goldies, because, like, if I don't get all the goldies, what's this for? A uh, kind of hack, I mean, again, it creates a lot of death this way, but is I'll like map out the other stuff first. But because once you set them on the path, they're going to go. And if Goldie dies, like that's it. You got to hit. If you want to get Goldie, then you got to restart. Um, so I'm thinking I, well, they can't drop from a three, which duh, we just learned. So let's move around this way. Let's get them this way. So we're going to turn this way and they'll be at a two. It's funny because I think I saw this one, but now I don't remember how. Okay. So, okay. So we could get them down here. Oops, let me... Yeah, that's fine, because I can, like, turn them this way, right? Then they're going to walk this way. Then they're going to walk this way. Then they turn... Oh, then they turn this way. This way, they'll grab Goldie. Then they'll go down. I think this is a two. Drop down. This is a three, so we're going to have to take them down this way. And then... La the first time I did this level, I got... They all got stuck in this hallway, because I never told them to move otherwise. Okay, now he can come down here. Then we go this way. 
Then we grab Goldie. Oh, shit. Hold on. Then we, um, turn this way. Yeah, I think so. And then we turn this way. Every now and then I forget to put, like, one of these little coordinates, though, and then, like, you're like, oh, wait, something went wrong. Okay, so I did all of these. This is my little hack. Even though it leads to a lot of people being dead. Like, my stats are gonna be terrible for number of deaths, but that's fine. Okay. So this should work. And then you kind of just watch it happen, right? Like, did I get this together or did I fuck something up, you know? Um... There they go. And like in a bit, I'll unlock the fast forward, but I kind of like, especially when you're first getting everybody through, the slower pace gives me a second to like course correct if I need to. So I personally like seeing them all kind of go around. Okay. And we got one more buddy to pick up and then they'll be good. Uh, the dog moves like really nimbly too. Um, it's a little bit almost, it's almost too slippery, but I think it works for what it is. Um, Two, you know, he moves quickly enough that it's like, it doesn't take you too long to execute on the ideas that you have. And again, we got all these little things, like, we have this too, that mentions, like, if Goldie dies, like, you can hit retry, um, or just, like, give up on having Goldie. Which is also kind of nice too, because, like, if you're, if you are someone who gets tired of tutorials, you know, you saw me in LEGO 2K Drive being like, oh my god, these, like, mechanics keep talking to me, it's too much, I don't like how their voice acted. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of like opt-in-ness to the tutorialization of it. Um, boom. The question is like, how long will the all Goldie run last? Will I be a pro gamer like Jacob Geller and just 100% it? One thing I was surprised by with this too is it's kind of a lengthy game. It's got 85 levels. Um, and I don't think there's a how long to beat yet on the website. How long, to, oh no, how long to beat the website has six hours. Which, that's pretty solid, actually. I saw, like, a way longer time on another website. I think six is a good sweet spot. It's long enough that it's not... It's, like, long for a short game, but short for, like, a long game. Um... So now I have the fast forward. You get your little rewards. Uh, another interesting thing, too, is I, um... Yeah, I was, like, on Twitter, and a couple people, like, have... Well, again, it's Tears of the Kingdom time, right? That's what everyone's doing, that's what everyone's talking about. This game did kind of, like, pop up still. Like, I saw a couple people in my timeline talking about it. One thing people talked about was how much they liked the music, and jumping into this, I'm like, yeah, like, the music kind of hits. Like, it's... a weird, funky, trance type of music, but it works for what it is, and it weirdly, like... Um, so humanity reminds me of, like, when I was in college, I had this class, hold on, let me pause this. Like the, I had this class that was, like, um, I didn't get to take it because I ended up getting sick and then I, like, couldn't take the class, but the class was a, um, like, how do I say this? It was, the, the subject was, like, Virginia Woolf and her work, and the professor that taught it was, like, really hippy dippy energy, and, like, she had us break off into groups and, like, talk for a bit, and then afterward, she, like, walked back into the room, and she had this little bell, and she, like, hit the chime, and she went, ah, that's so much better, like, don't we all feel so much nicer now, or something like that, and Humanity's soundtrack is that thing, that little bell, like, it, it, like, weirdly soothes the mind. It, like, washes over the folds of your brain in a weird way. Um, so yeah, at least for me. Maybe I'm, uh, got something else going on. I don't know. It's got a bit of energy. Let's just go for it and, you know, put a little bit of challenge here. Uh, this tutorial, I'll just click it so you guys see it. It's the people switches. Guide enough people onto one of the switches and something interesting will happen. However, the effect will only last as long as there are people on the switch. So, there's people coming this way. They're gonna walk on the switch automatically, but I actually want them to go around this way because I want them to grab Goldie. Wait, shoot, but I gotta remember when they climb up here, they need to be directed down. So that's gonna open up just like the end of the level. So it goes down this way. Then we go this way. We get Goldie. We're gonna have to go this way to get him. Oh shoot, we messed up. <gasps> Wait now, and Goldie died. 
And this is what I mean by, let me actually show you what happened in case you missed it. Like, I forgot that they have to turn this way to actually go into this, so. We're going back. We're going back. There is a real, um, absurdity to this game. Okay, so I think they're gonna walk over this part. Yeah, they will. Okay, and then we're gonna take them this way. And that's the thing, well, like, you'll have, you get to these points where you're like, mm, something happened. Something got fucked up. Okay, here we go. So, now it should be good. I think everybody's doing okay. They walk this way. They walk this way. They walk this way. And then I gotta get up to the top, actually. So, they're gonna be walking up here, and then they're gonna have to just turn this way. There we go. Okay, this should be good. Now we just see, did we succeed in our work? It's cool seeing Goldie climb too, because he's kind of like a monster, <laughs> sort of. So it's got like some real unsettling energy to it. And there they go. The sound effects and the visual of the fireworks kind of also reminds me a little bit of uh, if you played Halo 1 with the grunt birthday party, like, toggle on, where you get, when you hit a headshot on a grunt, their, like, confetti comes out of their head. It kind of reminds me of that, which, like, that's probably my favorite part of that game. And I don't know if that's something that came later or if that's always been in there, because I played the... I played Halo 1, like, on my, like, Xbox One, like, in the collection. So now we have the free camera. Um, you can pause and, like, move the stuff around, but... Gore looks like the giant from my Citizen Kabuto on GameCube. Ooh, I'm not familiar. Um, the comparison that Mark made was, like, Goldie's kind of, like, he kind of looks like the Oscar man, which I think that's also very accurate. All right, so now I think we might be caught up to where I was when I started the stream where, like, again, I had gone a couple levels in and then I'm like, let me just restart to have a clean playthrough for y'all to, like, see what this game's all about. Okay, so, cool. Definitely getting more layered now. We grant you a new power. I'm kind of scared what it's gonna be. Jump will make people leap into the air. Take it and use it well. Okay. Ah. Ah, okay. Pick up new commands. Interesting, interesting. Then how do I like toggle between them? Oh, yep, it's exactly what I thought it'd be. R R1, L1. Okay, everyone's gonna be dying here because- Oh, they're already at- Oh, no! This is- There's a lot happening. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let's use that triangle button and figure this out. They already sent my people on a path. Okay. Played a good chunk of this, played a good chunk of the game. Some levels have that nice, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to solve it, but it worked feeling to it. Yeah, since there, there are inherently like multiple pathways um, to a degree, it's not as dramatic as in some other games, but it's there. Okay, so if they go in, no, they came out of there, duh. Okay, so where do I want them to go? I guess I can just go up here and then to the left and then the other ones can go up and then to the other side, right? Oh no, they have to jump to get Goldie though is the thing. Okay, but they're gonna cross path. Okay, so I think it's, we gotta have them jump for Goldie. I think, I think so. Oh shoot, no, my babies. Okay, here goes, uh, then we can do like, and then we can have them, like, keep going here. Shoot, what happened? Oh, they can't do this because they can't jump. Okay, no, sorry, y'all. I didn't realize that you had this problem. Yeah, you can not You can only climb when... Yeah, I got you now. I, underst I understand. Oh, shoot, not this. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. We lost a lot of people, but that's all right. And then they'll have this... Wait, 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 wait. 
Ah, I got him. I got him. Okay. I got him. There's only one, right? Okay. Um, I haven't played this in VR yet, but play it, Jason. Uh, friend of the channel. I think it's a good, good way to summarize. Fellow streamer extraordinaire. Uh, he said that, like, it's even better to him. And, uh, what, should, did he say it was even better? I don't want to put words in his mouth. But he said it had an even, like, trippier, you know, an enhanced effect, if you will, um, when you're in VR. So we'll see if I feel like booting it up in VR at some point and just seeing. I probably should, just for, like, PS I Love You to be able to, like, talk about the VR aspect of this game. Um... It's tough because VR is so inherently not casual in that, like, you gotta, like, put the headset on. Like, that's just, like, one step too far. Uh, crowd surfing. Uh, Doshin the Giant is the name of the game I was thinking of. I fa just found out the main character looks a bit like Goldie. Ooh, I kind of want to Google this now. Doshin the Giant. Okay, we're Googling. Yeah! Okay! Was this game good? It looks really absurd, but kind of cool. Is that a fun game? It looks really interesting, Doshin the Giant. Let me make sure I put a little timer on my watch. We only have like 30 more minutes or so because I want to be able to get ready to go out for the night. Um, okay. Here I notice a much larger pillar of light. Onward now, lead them into the light and to us. You come as well. It is time we meet. Okay. We shall grant you another power. Only this time, the power is within you. The power to dive into people. Use it now and use it well. Power to dive into people. Okay. Oh, weird. Okay. Jump, then press X again to dive to your human use. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take a let's see. Oh, oh, that's so creepy. I understand it though. I see the practicality. That's really, really odd. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on here. Um, okay, so a lot is happening. Um. I do want to grab Goldie for sure, but so much is going on. Okay, so they probably have to jump. Can they like, what? what is this? But then when people are on here, what's gonna happen to this? And we'll just try stuff out, you know? You can't, can't be too afraid to try. Um... Shoot. Oh, actually they can walk through here, so that's okay. Oops. Sorry, y'all. Goldie can swim? Okay, so everyone's like, I think, coming through here. That's the way the path is almost open. Oh, cool. And then, like, these ones are already going. So these guys are taken care of. Oh, shoot. Okay, um... Okay... And then these guys... Oops, sorry. Ooh! 
Goldie Star. Okay, we gotta see, is there a platinum for this game? There should be. Yep. Nice. Okay, let's take a quick like glance at what that looks like. That seems like it'd be a fun one. Complete an optional trial. Okay. Defeat some things. This is kind of just progression things and like completionist stuff. Okay, I don't want to read it too closely because I don't want to like spoil parts of the game. Um, seems fine. Retry the same trial five times while keeping your place commands. But look, at, look into that. Um, defeat a hundred thousand other. Uh, that might become clearer later. View all stats. Complete some sequences. It seems okay. And there doesn't seem to be like a a like building section. I've never played it, but I always remembered it. I remember seeing it online magazine times. His strange belly button. I haven't seen the full picture of Doshin the Giant. Let me no, let me look at him now. I'm kind of scared. Oh, yeah. He's he's got a lot going on, Doshin. All right. Next. <clears throat> Time passed. Who knows how long. I awoke in an unfamiliar place. Hmm. Cool. Spooky. I heard the voice inside my head. Ah, you finally made it. Did you recognize them? They are the people you led into the light. This is where the light delivers them. I had a thought. What is this place? The voice somehow heard me. These are the testing grounds. It's time for the trials to begin. Trials. Trials that you will oversee. The people lack what your guidance can offer. You will bring them here to us. I had more questions for the voice. Who are you? How are you inside my head? Of course, where are our manners? Think of us as this, a blue core. We are the first to watch over you. Heed our instructions well. Now come, let us waste no more time. Take the first step, prove you are worthy. Uh, a statue-like object appeared before me. Hmm. Sequence one, awakening. Do 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 do. Crossroads. I found myself somewhere new. This is the place of awakening, both of new powers and of understanding. As always, you are to guide the people to the light. They will do as you command. They seem quite fond of you. We now grant you your first new power. Okay. High jump will cause the people to leap even higher into the air. Oh shit. <laughs> no! The babies! Alright, there's a lot happening here. Um. Okay, they're gonna automatically walk this way. I mean. Oh. 
think there's only one Goldie, right? Maybe there's another Goldie that would appear, though, if we did something else. Because mm, there's, a, there's a switch up at the top. And I feel like that maybe would have Goldie. Did I get all the Goldies? I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, I knew- I fucking knew it. Alright. Let me retry. Let me retry. Retry com- Retry, keep commands. You can retry try without having to retry your commands by selecting retry, keep commands. The pause menu. Okay, hold on. Oh. I'm gonna do clear commands for now. So, let's think about this. So, we need to get people up to way up here. I think these guys are like the best people for that. Because I think they can just jump on to... I'm not really sure what that looks like. I guess let's try it and see what's up. Like, can they jump that high? Like, can I have them jump like up here? And then like... Okay, but then what? You know what I mean? Like... Mm. Oh man, Mark, thanks for the gift, this man. I appreciate it. Uh, I have a gift yeah. to Sponge Cola 101 MRE Player Sphinx. Uh, oh, Dab and Dragon, I think? Yeah. And Spacey. All right, let's see. I feel like it's gonna be hard to get them to, to turn around. And my cat in her little pouch. Um, the other side, maybe? But I don't think they have the verticality to do that, is the thing. Let's just try it out, you know? Like, probably not, though. I don't think this is gonna work. If this does work, though, I'll probably go back and redo it just to make it a little bit cleaner. Yeah, I knew they fucking didn't have what it took. I knew they didn't have what it took. Okay, hold on. Give me a. Give, stop coming here. You're making a mess. All right. Okay, so we have these people. We need to like get people. If they could be on the other side. No, well, I can probably just jump them, right? Like a normal jump would probably be enough. Yeah. Great. That's great. There we go. Shoot, and what did that do though? I don't. didn't even notice what that did. What? Oh, did I add another Goldie? That added Goldie, right? Because now there's two. Because there's like one in the top and there's one in the middle. Okay. So. The middle one could be gotten from. Then it's tough because, like, okay. Like, when people stop moving on this, it takes away the thing that, like, was created. So we have these guys. Can these guys make it there? Let's see. If I bring y'all here, can you do what you need to do? Oh shoot, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go though, because if Goldie dies, it's all over. Okay, great. That Goldie's good to go. And then we can have these guys get the other Goldie by doing a not high jump, by doing a regular jump. And then we just have to do a high jump here, and then it should be good to go. I think this is gonna be it. I think this is. I think this is good. Okay. There we go. There we go. Loop the loop. Let's go. Okay. Loop the loop. We hereby grant you a new power. I am kind of surprised with how many powers you get, I think. Just from, like, the marketing of the game, I kind of figured that it'd be more of an evolution of uh, level design than a combination of level design with the powers. Which I'm, I'm glad to see. I think I think having the extra abilities 
gives you just more tools to like mess around with. Going back to like what um, there's someone else who had been playing in the chat. Um, Prince of the Universe, I think, where it's like creating those opportunities for like additional solutions. Okay, long jump will causes a human to sleep further than usual. Okay. So we got a lot going on here. So we have this panel, TBD on what this does yet. We have another panel, and we only have one line of humans, so. I mean, I think it's time they just start figuring out what things do. So let's just start by taking these people over here. Oh, oops, just kidding. Sorry, y'all. Oh, wait, only long jump though right now. Oh. Okay, um... Oh. No, wrong way. Oop, no. No. Um, okay, maybe then... If it's only this in turn... And I know we don't have Goldie, but, like, that's okay right now. Then we can get them to turn again. I don't know what this is gonna be though. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. There's so much drama with all these people. Okay. I thought if the dog falls, it's like not a big deal. so weird when you're like collected inside of all these people. Okay. So, how are we gonna get Goldie? We got two Goldies to get. Let's take a look. Um, I think we just make them take the long way. But then we're missing this middle Goldie that way. Hmm, okay, so, let's think this through. But we need, like, that second pillar to carry Goldie over. Because I could get Goldie to be part of this current crew, but how is this current crew going to grab Goldie if, he's, if, if we're not going up the middle? Oh, it's, it's starting to get spicy. Okay, um... I do feel bad with all the people dying a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so we got a thing with our thonk. Let's see. So we can turn this way and then maybe make it a big circle. Like we like do everything twice. Okay, let's okay, wait, but could we do that? I don't know if that's like no, I don't know. I'm not sure at all. I gotta, I gotta like this through. What's up, Dem? Thanks for the follow. Um, I suppose it's time to just start like cracking some eggs and trying stuff out. Cause we grab Goldie, he's gonna end up over here. We can move, do a long jump here. We got a certain point we gotta like get people on top of here inherently. Oh, this is tough. Okay. Because they need to go up here, so they're going to have to, like, climb up here. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Okay. Um. Let's just see what does... Moving... Oh. Ignore that. What does moving the people here look like? Okay, and then if we move them... Oh, not that way, not that way. They end up going in a continuous circle, which is cool, but that's, like, not gonna... get them where they need to go. 
Could we have enough people going through this, though, that it's okay to, like... Oh, but if we turn, like, how are they gonna jump, though? Because they're going straight. Like, if we do a long jump, they're just gonna jump over everything. If we do a turn, they're just gonna die. Unless we feel like we have enough people that we can just, like, reorganize them? I don't know if that's allowed or not. I don't know if we have enough people to do this. Do we get Goldie still from here? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna learn on the job. Fuck. How do I get Goldie? No! I don't know how to get him! No! Damn. I gotta figure out how to get that last one. Loop the loop. I feel like that's the hint though, right? Loop the loop. I mean, I have like a loop set, but... No! <laughs> Don't pick him up yet. Okay. I mean, there's definitely something with what I initially had. They jump here, and then they come back. And they jump again. Oh, hold on. I think I almost had it. I think I kind of understand what went wrong. I didn't do the long jump early enough so that the descent wasn't, like, severe enough, kind of, if that makes sense. I think I can, um, I think I generally had the right idea, but it just, oops. Okay, ooh. okay, oh, okay. Bring these guys here. Okay, right, now it's all, like, one big thing. And that's cool. I think if we, like, long jump here... That could work. And then just go- oh, shoot. Oh! And then long jump here. Something like that. That could flop, though, and then if we kill Goldie, like, we're kinda fucked, but... Oops! Wrong thing. But we can kind of test that, though. Oh, yes, this is too early. Matter of fact, can I, like, get rid of these guys by just... No! No! <laughs> like, I don't want you guys to, like, touch the ending. Sorry. Sorry! Maybe this would be, like, the way to get them? So we can test that by... Okay, so we can kind of use these guys as, like, testers. It does work. Oh shoot, but now we gotta now we gotta go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on though. Now now we gotta grab the other Goldie. I don't know if we're gonna make it there in time. No! Let me finish, let me finish though. Let me finish. No! 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 Okay. The I the ideas are there, okay? The ideas are there. Okay, let's, let's try it again. Um, I think I just want to clear the commands. I feel like that's harder. Oh, but of course I don't have any commands set yet. Okay. I wish you could, like, I don't know, do it a little bit differently. Because I'm like, I don't want to clear the commands, but I don't want to use all the same commands because they're, like, flopped, you know? 
Yeah. Okay, so right, because it's like a long jump here. Which I should know how far the things go, because like you can count the tiles, but I didn't think to do that until like right the second, so. Okay. So now that we kind of know what to do, we turn these guys. Okay. Then we go here, we go here. We bring these people this way, and now it's a big circle. And we know that we have to long jump from here, I think it was, right? Because you can jump over like one, two. Yeah, I think we said it was from here. Now I'm not sure anymore. But we're just gonna try it. Oh shoot, not that, not that, not that. I think this is gonna be right. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I think it's right. I think it's right. Though also, we don't need to do this now with Goldie, but I think it's okay, because he's gonna- yeah, he's- he's surviving. He's a survivor. Did I not count it? Oh my gosh! That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Wait, does it count? Does it count? Okay. I didn't know it count. I thought once it was completed, it was just done. Okay, I probably could have done it in the last one then. I didn't realize that. What the hell did I come This is humanity. And it's really good. It's really enjoyable. Um, it is a puzzle game. It's apparently similar to Lemmings, but I've never played Lemmings. So that doesn't really do anything for me personally. But you're just guiding, you're creating pathways, and you're letting the little people walk in the pathways, and you want to get them to the light. Um, you play as a dog, which is awesome. It's very, like, trippy, funky, conceptual shit, but at the end of the day, like, it's just cool to lay out pathways and let it happen. Um, it definitely is, like, a soothing puzzle moment, you know? That's the vibe I get from it. And they have, like, nice little challenges with, like, getting the extra guys. Um, I don't know if the trials are gonna be harder than what the base levels are. We'll see. Okay, to be honest, would the game be better if you play as a cat? Ah. Oh. For me, I think I'd have to say yes. I think I have to say yes. I think I'd rather hear a cat meow than a dog bark. Um, but... I don't know. I like the dog, though, actually, in here, to be honest. Um... I feel like it fits the lore more. Like, the dog is, like, the command, you know? Like, he, like... So, it's like, you have different abilities. So, right now, I have, like, um, the long jump unlocked. And... You may be wondering why always people die. I want to be able to get the goldies. Like, if you... You, like, get extra rewards if you grab these guys on your path. Before you, like, enter this thing. Ooh! If you fall, it doesn't really matter. So... I'm gonna try to figure out, but once you're like on your team, are the humans just infinite? Yeah, the humans infinitely spawn, but if Goldie dies, like, cause like these humans die, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect my game. But if Goldie dies, like he's done, like you can't, like he doesn't respawn. So you kind of want to be careful before you pick him up, but this is my first time playing this level, so I'm just gonna see what this does. This is like a little pad that when the humans walk on it, um, something happens, but they have to keep walking on it for that thing to keep happening, if that makes sense. Like, this platform will only exist for as long as there's humans standing on it. Um... I'm guessing that we have to turn them... ...from here, and then, like, long jump. So now I just have this group of people that are stuck on the wall, but, like, that's fine. You have this human surf thing to, like, help you navigate stuff. Obviously, we have to put a long jump here, too. So now we have this platform exists. But then it becomes, okay, well, what do I do with all these people? I'm gonna have this traffic jam here. I guess I'll just loop them back around. And then we'll do another long jump, and then that'll just be a circle. Like, this will be a little loop we create. Um, they can climb on this kind of brick that has the striped lines. Um, and then, frankly, just to clean everything up, I'm <laughs> just trying to get these people to walk away. Like, sorry, y'all. Like... 
I just don't- I just need you out of here. Uh, I don't know what I thought this game was, but it wasn't this, and I also think I would love this. I'm really liking this game, like, genuinely. It's probably the first game- it's funny, because Tears of the Kingdom just came out, it came out, like, last week. But it's the first game that I'm like, this is worth playing in between your Tears of the Kingdom time. And obviously, Tears of the Kingdom is not everyone's jam. It's a lot of people's jam, but it's not everyone's, so obviously, like, if that is you, then, you know, that's already you. But I'm like, oh yeah, like this, it's it's also just different enough that I feel like, yeah, like I can't get this anywhere else, I feel like. This is me. Okay, perfect. So then there you go. If you're like, I don't want to play Tears of the Kingdom. Not, not that you're this, but you know, if you're like, oh, what do I, everyone's playing Tears of the Kingdom, but like, what else should I be playing if I don't care about Tears of the Kingdom? Like, this is definitely it. Even if you like Tears of the Kingdom, I think this is worth playing. Um, it's super fun. And again, it is it is very different. Okay, so let me think a little bit. So we have this loop going. We've created these two platforms. Now we also have to like figure out what's up. We have to get people on this platform too. So, and we have to get like a somewhat consistent amount of them on this platform. This is gonna be tough. Huh, okay, I'm thinking that we can take this back area and have them go up here, but then like which way are they going after that? Like, I don't know. This is a little stressful. We're just gonna have to try some stuff and see what happens. What else should I be playing? Also, let me tell everyone that I'm not playing Tears of the Kingdom. It's my whole personality. Exactly, yes. Uh, it can be a little bit of that energy. Um, let's see. But yeah, this is worth everyone checking out. Oh, that's something else I want to draw attention to. This is on PlayStation Plus Extra. So if you have a PlayStation Plus account and are on the extra tier, aka one tier above the base tier, which the base tier is called Essential, um, you can play this for free and free in quotation marks because yes, you have to pay for the subscription. But if you have paid for the subscription, it is downloadable from there. Um, I genuinely think PS Plus Extra is very much worth that extra cost, uh, no pun intended. There's a lot of amazing titles on there. Obviously, again, though, these things are only worth it if you're going to play some of these games because you could have all the best games in the world if you're not playing them. It's then it's then so not worth your money on a personal level but just from like the kind of level of content they're putting out playstation plus extras hitting um full transparency i have times where i do get codes for like playstation plus extra it's rarer but like i've gotten codes like that like when they dropped their new thing like we got premium for like that year like the first year or something like the first couple months um since then usually we don't get those often though that's like a one and kind of done thing or once every like few years so now I had to decide like what did I want to do with my PlayStation Plus account and obviously I'm on PS I love you so there's like benefits work wise to me being on extra but I'm like if I'm not gonna play the games like I'm not gonna pay for it and I saw humanity was on there and I'm like yep like literally didn't even go a month without seeing a game that I was genuinely genuinely interested in playing you know content aside so I uh did the one year for PS Plus extra when that ends I'll reevaluate at that point but uh yeah that's where I'm at with it so just want to draw attention to that if you're looking to pick this up that's a great way to pick it up because i think what does this retail for let me look humanity i'll just look up humanity playstation for the price it's like a 30 dollars game and playstation plus extra i want to say is it like 80 a year let me try to look it up i just got the the charge recently so i feel like i should know it's going to be in recurring under my budget app if someone knows the price offhand feel free to chime in PlayStation Plus Extra. Let's see. I played, paid an extra 36 to upgrade to Extra from what I had last month, which was 60, 70, 80. I think it's 90 a year. I might be a little... 90 USD about... That might be a little bit off, so don't, like, totally at me on it. If it's a little wrong, feel free to correct me with the prices in the chat. Um, so, again, you'd have to have a couple of these experiences, but I do think that you probably will um with uh just the caliber of games they've been putting out for it has been like really really solid okay anyway a hundred dollars yeah yeah maybe i had some money left over or something um okay so let's just go for it at this point oh sorry wrong thing i wanted to do this and then let's have them turn and then turn this way. And then I guess like... 
turn this way because I want them to get the goldies. But I don't know if there's gonna be enough people like running through the system to even do this. Oops, not this. Then we can go here, then we can do a long jump. Again, if Goldie dies, like, it's over. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! But then how do I get the last Goldie, though? Oh, no! So I got two of them, but I didn't get the this one over here. I probably should have gone, like, way all the way, like, a really long loop. And that would have done it. Scenic route. Complete an optional track. Okay, I thought they meant, like, you took a long-ass time to solve this. Um, get them Goldie. Hey, play Jason, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, Jason, feel free to chime in with your thoughts on the game. I was telling people that you were streaming it recently as well. Um, I need to retry this, because I messed up a little bit. Hey, model hats. Because, of course, there had to be hats. Yeah, I'll put some hats on people. Why not? Okay, and then you can, when you retry stuff, you can set it so that you've done some of the, um, like, some of your moves can be, like, saved. Okay, but I'm thinking instead of doing this, I don't know if I have to let that, this run for a little bit, though, first. Um, let's do, like, turn here, long jump here, they would then land, shoot. It's tough for me to get the right jump in now. Oh! Shoot. Okay. Can I jump from here? I kind of need to. No! Okay, I think I, I think I gotta wait. I think I gotta wait a little bit. That's stressful, though. Wait, wait, wait. I can probably jump from up here. Shoot, I figured it out now. And land over here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, they're not- it's not like- there's no Goldie yet, though, so it's okay. Shoot. Wait, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. Then I can do this. So then they're gonna be back here, and then when they're back here, I want them to walk this way. They're already walking that way. They jump here. Shoot. Oh god. Oh god, no! Oh, this is so much. So much is happening. Wait, shoot, 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 shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, okay, it's okay. They're safe, they're safe, they're safe, they're safe. I think it might be okay. I think it might all work out. I'm stressing. I think we got them. I think we got them all. Okay, boom. Some of the later levels feel really good to solve. Yeah, it is game. I found the soundtrack a little repetitive, but the core idea is how. Yeah, it definitely does. I can, I totally agree with that assessment. It is inherently repetitive, but I think. It fades in the background just enough where it's like kind of works, you know? Um, you get like very in the zone. It's a very in the zone game. I wish the dog was easier to keep track of. I wish he could maybe jump a little bit higher. He jumps really high, but like in that level specifically, I'm like, I need to lay this out and I can't get up there yet. Um, but look at this. Why would you ever use the fast forward when you can just keep watching them? Look, they have hats on. Great game, great game. Um, but yeah, that's what's up, y'all. That is humanity. Again, humanity is for, um, where it's on PS4, PS5, PC, uh, and playable with PSVR 2 as well. Um, let's take a look. I think we, I think we're able to raid. Kind of funny. I don't think they're gonna have raids turned off. They're doing like a big subathon thing, so I think I'll probably. Or I could drop you off guys also at, where is this person at? Oh, they're really early. Ooh, you know what? I think what might be a better drop would be uh, our old pal, Jess Adele, um, because she's very early on Tears of the Kingdom actually, which is lightly novel. Like a lot of streamers are already like, you know, they probably play it the second it came out. So this will be a good one because if you are playing it and you don't want spoilers, you're not gonna get spoilers. Uh, she's literally like after the intro area, like go to the castle and see what's up. Like that's the section she's at, just to let y'all know. Um, but really quick, before we do our raid, uh, and please stick around for the raid, even if you can't stay for the entirety of their stream, um, I wanna let y'all know 
that I'll be on vacation next week. I was gonna be like, oh, here's what I'm doing. But I'm on vacation. I'm gonna be chilling. Uh, I am ending tonight earlier than normal because I am hanging out um, with some friends and they're like, let's meet up at seven. So I'm like, okay, well, I gotta end before seven so I can get dressed and head over there. Uh, so that'll be fun as well. Um, lots of stuff dropping in the last kind of second in a way as I head out. Uh, it's so tough. Whenever I have these vacations, I find myself like working right up until the vacation, which is not good, but sometimes, you know, with the embargoes and everything, it, it becomes a busy time. So um, if you are missing the streams, like you're like, oh my God, a week without streams, what am I gonna do? Uh, catch up on the VODs on YouTube. Chances are there are some videos that you've missed. Uh, great time to catch up. I have VODs on Twitch as well, but they do disappear after a while. Uh, before we head over to Jess Adele's stream, I do want to give a shout out, of course, to all of you watching, following, subbing, moderating, and of course, my sponsors over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash gameonesis with rewards as low as $1 all the way up to the $25 tier, the sponsor tier with folks such as Biscuits with Davey, Edwin Garcia, Kevin Fair, Patrick Schwiegert. We got Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Randleton Spencer, Cassiano, and Nina McKee. So get your name read at the end of each and every stream, and you'll get next to a little spot next to Donut Bruce um, by joining that sponsor tier. So uh, definitely consider it if you're looking for ways to support the channel and all of my content in general.